my position is uh, welfare laws should be made in such a way that I'm helping you, the society is helping you to help get out of the situation. Uh, so the welfare law literally should have a uh, kind of expiry date for each welfare uh, recipient that I'm starting this so that by uh, 10 years, by 5 years, you'll be out of welfare. And that's what the whole effort will be, not just providing you food. Uh, provide if today's needing food is needed, I'll do that. But tomorrow I'll not provide you food. I'll give you a, a loan so that you can earn and you can have your own food as possible. So that kind of thing was not visualized. So it became uh, an easy solution for the government. All you do, write a check, and you, you have done your job. Uh, bureaucracy loves it. Uh, I think that's a very wrong way. That way you make those people dependent. Uh, you take away their initiatives. Uh, society's job would be to create it, help create initiative rather than take away initiatives. It's a kind of reverse process. Uh, so that's what uh, the welfare system should have been uh, looking at. And today I'm saying that with welfare, as the way it is going, there should be a parallel program uh, to help the welfare recipient come out of poverty, uh, give them loans. So each welfare recipient should have two options, uh, whether you want to take a loan or you want to take the free money at the check, uh, and which will you want to do. If you're on welfare, you can't uh, earn any money, because if you earn any money, you have to report it to the welfare authority uh, so that they can deduct that money from your check. That's a lock, so that you don't try even try to make any money. That's a shame. Uh, welfare law should be encouraging you to make money so that uh, you can come out. Welfare law should be promising that if you make one dollar as an income, I'll match you with another extra dollar for that because you are taking initiatives. So initiatives should be uh, the one who should be applauded.